In this video, I'm going to dive deep into prerequisites, college degrees, and grades required for dental school. Hey there, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel where I have weekly videos about all things dental. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on all the action. In this video, I'm going to cover required and recommended prerequisites, degree requirements, community college, online, AP and IB credit, and finally GPA and what to do about bad grades. I'm really going to dive deep into all the details and show you a lot of stuff that other videos don't and actually even prepared some exclusive tips and tools for you so stay tuned first let's talk prerequisites if you go to the American Dental Association website and look for what is required of all dental students you will find a page that looks something like this it says that you should contact individual dental schools for their specific requirements which is totally true but here they have listed the baseline requirements for any dental school which is a year of biology a year of physics English organic chemistry and general chemistry so if you take all of those classes you will meet the baseline requirements and and you will be eligible to apply to some schools, but most, if not nearly all schools, require a bit more than this. Also note that it does say that a degree is only recommended, not required, as well as majoring in the sciences. That is not required either. You can major in whatever you want. Most students who apply to dental school do have bachelor's degrees, and most of them are science-based degrees. So I wanted to pull up some specific examples so you can get an idea of what other classes you would need to take if you want to apply to other programs. So first I have here, this is Tufts. They require everything that we listed before as well as an upper division science and biochemistry. I also pulled up UCLA's requirements and they require those baseline classes as well as psychology and biochemistry. University of Nevada, Las Vegas, they actually require biochem as well as anatomy and physiology and you will see a lot of programs that require anatomy and physiology as well. For whatever programs you apply to, as long as you have those required prerequisites done, you will be eligible to apply. However, there are also recommended prerequisite courses. Some schools list them on their websites and some schools don't list any recommended courses. Recommended courses are typically upper division science like microbiology, molecular biology, histology, psychology, or anatomy and physiology if it's not required, or really anything with ology. This is a great way to demonstrate that you will be prepared for the in-depth science courses in dental school. Also, it shows that you're putting in the extra effort and you're interested in achieving more than just what's required to apply to your program. As a general rule, the more upper division science classes you can take, the better. Ultimately, it's really important to find out which programs you're interested in applying to and finding out the requirements for those specific programs. That way, you can tailor your application and all the classes you take leading up to dental school to better fit whatever program you want to apply to. So how do you go about finding all of the requirements and recommendations for each of the 66 dental schools? Well, without buying the IDEA official guide to dental schools, which is $40, the only the only way to do it is to go to each school's website and find their admission requirements page and write down everything they require. I know when I was looking for this information, there was no way I was going to drop $40 on a book when all the information is online, but it's really tedious and time consuming to find the admission requirements pages for each dental school. So I put together a list for you guys. It's on a Google Doc and it has every single dental school in the United States with a link to their website site and I found their admission requirements page and I put a link to that as well. So it's there for each of the 66 schools. All you need to do is click on the link. You don't even have to copy and paste and it'll take you right to the admissions page. That way you can start an Excel sheet and put down the schools that you're interested in and what prerequisites they require and which ones they recommend. So get started on it. The link is right here. 
I'm gonna put a leaf. All right, let's talk degrees, majors, and minors. As I mentioned earlier, a bachelor's degree is not technically required. However, most dental students have them and some dental schools are starting to require them. For example, I know Harvard now requires a bachelor's degree. Also, dental schools don't require any specific majors or minors. A lot of pre-dental students I know are pursuing a degree in biology because it requires most of the same required prerequisites as well as upper division science courses so it just makes sense to get a degree that requires all of those prerequisites anyway. So technically you could major in anything. You could major in political science. It might even make you look more well-rounded. Also for you hygienists out there, a BS in hygiene works as well as long as you have taken all the required prerequisites. So these majors and minors are not required, but it's always good to set yourself apart and have interests and passions and goals outside of just what's required as a pre-dental student. Take classes that stimulate your interests and pursue a degree that you're really passionate passionate about and interested in. So moving on, now we're gonna talk about community college, online, AP, and IB credit. Most dental schools will accept some community college credit, though they do put some limits onto how much. Another thing to note is usually they won't accept online credits for those required prerequisite courses. So each program is going to be different. You'll have to go to that Google Doc and check out the links to see what each school requires and what their limitations are. But I did prepare some examples for you, of course. I have Tufts here. They don't accept any community college credit. Then I also looked at UCLA and they limit community college credit to just 70 semester or 105 quarter units. And you have UCSF, they only allow 64 semester units. So that's pretty typical of what to expect from various dental schools. So as far as AP and IB credit go, you should not plan to use these as credit for your dental school programs. My university, Portland State, didn't even accept my AP credit as anything other than elective credit. And that's usually what dental schools will view your AP and IB credit as, whatever your university accepted it as. Though some programs will accept AP and IB credit. For example, UCSF is one of those schools. You'll just need to score between three and five on any of the courses you'd like to use. And also you'll need to send in an official AP or IB transcript. So bottom line is if you have community college credit, online credit, or would like to use AP or IB credit towards any of your prerequisites, just make sure you check with that program and see what their limitations are. All right, last section for this video is GPA. So GPA is really important when applying to dental school. Not only does it demonstrate how you will perform as a dental student, which will be even more difficult than undergrad, GPA is also important for dental schools because they care about their entering class statistics. Most dental schools will let you know on their website what their minimum GPA requirement is, as well as the average GPA of their entering class. So they might say something like, we don't accept any GPAs lower than 2.7 but the average GPA of our students is between 3.4 and 3.6. Keep in mind, this is only an average. So if a school's average GPA is 3.0, that means they might have students as low as 2.0 and as high as 4.0. Don't worry about this too much, but as a pre-dental, you should be shooting for a GPA of around 3.5. If you do get a bad grade, like a B minus or a C, as long as it's not a C minus, you can make up for it in other areas of your application, like taking other science classes and getting good grades in those courses, or making up for a low grade on your DAT. For example, in my case, I took a whole year of organic chemistry in one summer and my grades were not good. I got B's the first two terms and the last term I got a C. I decided to take those grades as they were. I knew that if it came up in my interview, I could talk about how taking the entire year in one summer was really rigorous. I was also volunteering and doing research at that time. And I made up for it in my DAT, but if you do get anything lower than a C, you will need to retake that course. In the end, everyone's path is different and no application is perfect. All you can do is your best to prepare for your top programs and make sure that you meet all of their requirements. 
Well, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned at least one thing that will help you in your pre-dental journey. Please come back next week for another pre-dental video.